Let's have a little chat. Oh, I like this. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I hope you have time, because it's as big as the ocean. But there are still um, some moving parts. Up until now, I've always done what I thought was right. But what exactly that is changes with the spirit of the age. In the end, though, I know I'll make this country a brighter place. That's something I truly believe. Ah, is that so? So long! What do you want? You know your stuff. Really? All right, fine by me. Till the next time. What can I do for you? Ah, how lovely. Go ahead. We were cross since we were little. I can't remember us ever arguing or fighting. Among my six brothers and sisters, he was the one who looked out for me the most. My sisters and their husbands were also good to us, though. <laughs> when I think on it, I'm truly blessed for siblings. Yes. My spectacles. My eyesight has always been terrible. And I struggled before I had them. I could barely see the ground and kept tripping over. When someone called me from afar, I couldn't tell who it was. My brother couldn't bear anymore. So he bought the spectacles for me. Saving the money little by little. I'm truly grateful to him. All right. If you'll excuse me. What is it? You know how to please. Understood? What is it? Many things. Military strategy, history, philosophy. But it wasn't all book learning. He made us swim and climb mountains too. Looking back on it even now, his academy was truly different. Everyone would discuss ideas together, teaching each other. I learned a lot of things from that. When I close my eyes, I can still see it. That little tatami room. 
Haven't I told you? My family has practiced medicine in Choshu for generations. When I was young, I also studied medicine. But I stopped to focus on the cause. What could one mere physician achieve in the face of the cholera overrunning Japan? It needs stamping out, no matter what it takes. Good idea. I've got some time on my hands now, if you're free. Ah, there was something I've been meaning to ask, actually. About the one who trained you. You've mastered the sword, no doubt. But that's not all. You've got real grit. I've never seen anything phase you in the least. You must have had an incredible master. Like we had in Master Shoin. The thing about Master Shoin is that he could see right into your heart. He would have seen your true worth from the off. We were truly blessed to have been introduced to the man. He gave us purpose, the chance to focus on our nation's future. By the way, what does your teacher do these days? My apologies. I didn't mean to open old wounds. I can't help but feel sad when I remember Master Shuin. He was vital, absolutely vital to Japan. But the Shogunate, they... They rule by suppressing the will of the people. Truly, the Shogunate has lost its way, and there is no salvaging it now. Not only do they ignore the cries of the populace, but now they bend to the barbarians knocking at our door. It beggars belief. Can't they see how their people suffer with this disease they have invited into our home? Japan must change, and no one can do it but us. We, who were born and live under the rising sun. I'm sure you've had your fair share of painful memories. But let us together put this broken man to rights. The Testament of the Soul Master Shoin left us is back in our hands. You should give it a read. Master Shoin's last words, the one he entrusted you with, I think he hoped that even if his body should perish, his spirit would remain forever in his homeland. Everything we stand for began with Master Shoin. You might find reading his testament useful for reflecting on all that's happened. Eventually, I'll have a manuscript made so his words can reach even more people. The power of a message relies on it being conveyed, after all. I'm listening. <laughs> I can't believe it! What is it? The Choshu tell me much the same, and quite often. To tell the truth, sometimes I think that myself. But to live is to suffer. And there are many times when not indulging in a drink seems all but impossible. It is only when I'm drunk that I can escape the hardships of this world. Besides, Bonds are made stronger by sharing a bottle, are they not? I am... embarrassed by what happened the other time. But I need my sake. I hope you won't think too poorly of me for it. Well, 
They're a strong-willed lot, so I suppose it's only natural you might think that. They might appear to share the same cause, but every one of them has got a different opinion. Honestly, it's a bit like hurting cats. But I respect each of their goals, and I think my role is to support every one of them. I'm more than prepared for how difficult that will be. Thanks for letting me ramble on. I have renewed faith that I can keep going. There's no one else I can talk to like this. Really? Well, I'm happy to listen whenever you want to talk. Take care out there. What will it be? What will it be? Please, come again. <laughs> So you have come. Now, it is time I told you the truth. Before we can go further, I'm afraid there is something I must yet ask of you. Would you hear me out? Thank you. You do me a great kindness. I'll return to my chambers for now. Please come back. I'll be waiting. I have noticed recently that a number of sick geishas seem to have disappeared. I decided to look into the matter and have just learned about a place where a certain geisha is being treated. I would be reassured if she were being seen by a physician but I have yet to see any evidence of one. That's not all. Everyone seems to be turning a blind eye to what's happening. Something just doesn't feel right. Please, would you be so kind as to check on this geisha? As for me, I'll ask around to see if I can learn more. Thank you. If you act like a regular patron, I'm sure you can approach the room without drawing suspicion. I wish you the best of luck.
If you want to blame someone, blame the government for doing nothing. I am sick of this myself. Who's there? How did you get in here? We are in the middle of treatment. Get out! Our geisha are our pride. But if they can't bring in the business, they're simply dead weight. Dead weight we don't have the capacity to support through recovery. And now you've witnessed this. I have no choice. Men, put this wretch out of their misery! Hurry up and help, you lot! <laughs> don't think you can leave alive! <laughs> <laughs> to warrant your aid. My body hurts all over. My once beautiful skin is... If I can't earn my keep, there is no place for me in Yoshiwara. My only choice is to disappear. What else can I do? Either way, it won't be long till I'm found. Doctor, a lowly geisha such as I could never. Changing in this new time? Is there a place even for me? If there is, <laughs> I'll believe you for what it's worth. Either way, I don't have much time left. For the girl, I take it. Was she all right? Did you really? The world can be a harsh place, but I trust she has what it takes to survive. As for the results of my investigation, I have come to learn the full scope of the matter. The girls who disappeared were killed somewhere underground, and their bodies buried at Saihoji Temple. We must tell the girls that this is no longer happening. Perhaps that will bring their souls some semblance of peace. I can only hope that they will rest easier now. They're saying a shogunate official was killing off the sick, 
and that he combed the pleasure district looking for his next victims. The rumor makes sense. There is frustration with how the Shogunate is handling the epidemic. He goes to show how unhappy the people really are. Indeed. I hope the day will come when those hiding in the shadows will be as free as those living in the light. I spoke to the head of the Yoshiwara about the man behind all this. But the Pleasure District does not have enough resources, so I would wager it is still business as usual for him. The culprit goes unpunished, while you and I remain bound by virtue. Such is the way of the world we live in. Yes, this is all one of my station can do. I suppose these women felt the same way I do. They too long to be free. When we first met, I thought your life seemed so... I'm fettered. But the truth is you, too, are bound by your past. We both go through life concealing the ties that bind us. We may be very different, yet in many ways we are alike. Remember when I asked you to take those photographs for me? It feels like we've grown so much closer since then. They say a camera's true purpose is to preserve one's memories. I never really thought of it that way back in the Pleasure District. Why don't we take another photograph right now? That way, we'll never forget this moment. I hope you do this moment justice. I must admit, my heart races being on this side of the lens. I hope you will hold on to that photograph. That way, I can always be with you. issue at hand. I gather you are wondering why I betrayed Lord E. I must admit, he and I, we... He is a very important person to me. In fact, this hairpin is a gift from Lord E. But... Things are very different now. So much has changed, including my lord and me. The man I once knew is now the Red Demon. And the truth is that the role he has taken on torments him. Witnessing the recent purge opened my eyes. I now know that he must be stopped. And who else can do it but me? It is as if all these years by his side have led to this moment. I let Mrs. Femi escape, though it may yet cost me my life. That was the right thing to do. Yes, I am sure of it. But now, I am suddenly terrified. I can't shake the feeling that something Horrible is about to happen. What do you think I should do? Ah. 
that is all I needed to hear. I'm feeling much better now. I must apologize for letting my emotions get the better of me. Will you join the Satsuma uprising, I wonder? I know a back street out of sight of the Shogunate. I will show you. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Let me know when you're ready to go. Shall we make our way to the Satsuma Villa in Edo? <laughs> Indeed. Imagine how lovely that would be. As you wish. Lovely. What is it? Well, I wouldn't mind devoting my time to the shamisen, <laughs> which is more or less what I do now, of course. Although playing as a geisha for one's customers is Quite different from playing to indulge one's creative spirit. Perhaps one day, if I ever leave this place, it might be wonderful to explore the arts I learned for my trade. As you wish. Of course, as you like. Certainly, I have time for a chat. I once believed I knew who my heart belonged to. But ever since we met, you have shattered all my preconceptions. As a geisha, I sell customers a dream for an evening. With you, though, I can bear for the dream to end. I speak true when I say I don't want to stop seeing you, even if it is forbidden. Shall we make our way to the Satsuma Villa in Edo? As you wish. What is it? It was a gift from Lord E. I've always kept it about my person. A token of my unwavering admiration. Though things are different these days. After all he's been through. On the day he stopped and I returned this hairpin to him, I will finally be free to live my life with you. Till then, I ask that you remain by my side. My, somebody's worried about me. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. How about this? If it ever seems I'm putting myself in danger, you can always stop me. And if you're about to bite off more than you can chew, I'll be the one to stop you. Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. <laughs> now it's a little promise.
As you wish. Are you busy at the moment? Let's head outside and talk at our leisure. You're a kind soul. Then, let's be off. Hmm. Delightful breeze, isn't it? You don't really feel it in the Pleasure District. You saw it, didn't you, the other day? The Pleasure District is nothing but a gilded cage for us geisha. A gathering place for girls with nowhere else to turn. Scratch away the painted glamour, and all you find is pain. I began my work of my own volition, in order to better serve Lord E. But now, these days, there are times I don't know how to feel. Is this truly what I wanted? I ask myself. I ask that a lot, when I'm with you. All I want is to let the wind take me, wherever it might blow. Let it take the two of us, so we can leave it all behind. If only. Why don't we? It's certainly a possibility. Did you think I spoke truly? You can't take everything a geisha says at face value, you know. That's how we reel you in. Yes, it was all a mere jest. Nothing more than nonsense, I'm afraid. Perhaps it's time we went back. Tonight was all in good fun. Nothing more. Agreed? 